My boyfriend and I had this crazy idea to buy a school bus, renovate it into our tiny home on wheels, and live out of it while we travel the country together. We're still in the renovating it phase and will be for quite some time as we're starting from scratch with the bare metal bones of our rig that we call Becky. Follow along as we build our first home together. Welcome to another week of bus renovations. We're coming out to the bus for the first time, and again, it like thunderstormed and rained last night, so we're about to triple check this bus for leaks. I don't even know when the time will come that we stop checking for leaks every time it rains, because I feel like you can never be too sure. How does it look? I don't see any leaks. The wood looks dry. Hell yeah. All right, let's don't get too excited <laughs> just yet. Let's just double check. I know, I know. Usually I look for like the shininess on the ceiling because even if it's not dripping now, but it dripped before, you'll still see like a... Well, if it dripped before, you would see it on the wood. I mean, yeah, now that we have the wood, but like also on the sides because there's water here, but I think that's from here. Yeah. Because our door isn't sealed. Oh, that's a lot of water. I think it's from the door. You think so? I think so. Well, then that means we're going to have to do the, the door way quicker than what we thought. Well, yeah, because it's going to get whatever wood here wet. Yeah. Are we sure it's from the door? Where right. is it? Where? Oh, god damn. Oh, no, they're fucking leak. Is it coming from this hole? Yeah. Okay, so one. But kind of a bad one. <laughs> so how do we fix it? Are you going back on the roof? Barely get on the roof because I don't want to... Mess up all the other stuff, yeah. yeah. Well, I just mean like, are we going to try to fill it from the roof? We don't have any more of our sealant paint, so... I'm just going to cough the fuck out of it. I'm going to get some paper towels, wipe it off. I'm going to hope for that area to dry up just a tad bit so mm -hmm. the coffee won't stick. We thought we were going to be in the clear. We can fix it. You can fix it. You see where it's leaking? Yep. And this is why we'll continue to look for leaks every time we come. Yeah, that's the only board that looks wet. That's the only place we saw water at. And our main floor is dry, which is good. We might tear up like this last board here to check on the other boards and like the insulation that's under there to see if it got like super wet or something. We resealed from the roof and then he also took some of that like flex sealant through the hole that's in the ceiling as well. That is the residual from the previous owners doing the their attempt at the roof deck. <laughs> We're trying to cover up all of those leaks because we knew that all of those big holes leaked already and then that was the only one left that was still leaking so resealed it we'll see if it holds it better fucking hold but for the rest of the day i know that we wanted to finish the other side of the flooring we're not gonna like finish finish it in terms of like drilling it in but we want to cut the boards right like mm -hmm. you want that to be ready mm -hmm. um so that way we can really like walk out on the bus floor which is gonna be so cool to have that completely just done yeah and then figure out like the layout yeah we can we take some blue tape down. to it yeah other than the side floors what's the plan finish the flooring to rip out this uh whatever the hell that is you still have no idea we're going to frame out the ceiling and probably frame out the walls. So like the whole bus is framed. Yeah. That's probably all we're going to get done with probably this weekend. Probably since we're going to be fucking with this, we can probably look into taking this out. Yeah, I want all that mechanical stuff above the door out because yeah. we can use that for storage. The previous owners already took out the like actual handle and stuff like that to open the door so the mechanics don't work anyways. And we're going to redo the door. All of that mechanical stuff up here can come down. We bought this like straight edge for the eight feet panels of plywood. So that way when we use the circular saw, we can like keep it straight with the line that we made. Definitely comes in handy. A little tricky to maneuver though. <laughs> Let me catch y'all up. One, my camera died. Two, we have a subfloor. The flooring, I don't wanna say it's done cause it's not done, but it's, it's pretty much done. All we wanted to do was to get the sideboards cut out so that way they'd be ready to drill in, but we have not insulated underneath yet. We wanna figure out all the plumbing and where we need to drill holes in the bottom of the bus if we need to. We just wanna get that sorted before we drill anything down, but we wanted a flat floor surface so that way we could walk on it, but also start blue taping out our layouts and stuff. But our subfloor is done. Like, ah, uh, it feels so good to be able to walk on here. And now we're wanting to tackle getting this oh, hunk of metal out 
We have no idea what it is. It looks like the previous owners tried to take it out before, but we'd like to use this space for storage or something. We just want it to come out, but we have no idea what it is. And we're hoping it's nothing important. bus again <laughs> but we did figure out what it was it's a air conditioner mm -hmm. so they have found it on the sticker on the side of it it's from red dot corporation from seattle washington oh it's a heater and conditioner what's the date 1993 oh, That's no it's december uh, is it december 12th yeah uh, no way yeah is it really yeah no shit your birthday my year 12 12 93 it's a sign <laughs> You're meant to be doing this with me, is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is our bus. But I'm excited though, because now we can like use this space. Mm -hmm. And we don't know for what yet. We talked about maybe like Kitty's litter box or putting that underneath the chair or this just being like maybe shoe storage or something. Like Yeah, one of those fold out things. Something. That, like, comes out and then you have shoes there and then like something back in there. But I just want as much space as possible. Hell yeah. We're just keeping it moving, trying to take off the stairs next. We've tried this before, but some of the screws are like stripped in there and we can't get them out. Good morning. It is the next day. You guys are already on the tripod, so I'm just walking around. But I wanted to update y'all before we really start working and everything that hole that we found yesterday held up overnight. It did rain again, it thunderstormed, absolutely no water on the floor, nothing. Good job, babe. <laughs> no more leaks. <laughs> So far. We talked a little bit yesterday of like all the things we kind of wanted to get done, which we finished the subfloor. We ripped that bad boy out. Uh, we started taking apart the stairs yesterday, but we haven't finished that. And then we wanted to start taking off the door, but then we realized that when you open and close it, like the mechanisms are still turning up there. Cause that's what helps it open and close. So if we took that out, I, we don't really know what would happen with the door yet. <laughs> So we're gonna hold off up there until we redo our door situation um, and figure out what door we wanna put in and everything, just cause we don't wanna either get locked in or locked out of the bus or like not be able to really open the doors or whatever. So we're not gonna do that. Stairs are gonna finish coming out today. And we're pretty sure that's really all that we're gonna get done this weekend. We wanted to try to like frame out the ceiling and everything, but we're thinking, cause at least when we're filming this vlog, it's the first weekend of December and we're not gonna be down the rest of the month, at least to work on the bus, cause holidays, my birthday is next week. So there's a whole bunch of stuff happening in December. So we're probably not gonna be back up here until January. And we feel like this is a good like stopping place, at least for the holidays and then come back try to get it into a shop maybe because the previous owners never changed the oil and they had the bus for two years so we definitely want to change the oil probably check out brake lines and just random stuff like that so it's an easy second day today we're really just gonna finish taking out the stairs kind of get a game plan together and then enjoy the holidays and then we'll be back in january for more stuff marissa is up editing a video for you guys right now for her channel what i'm doing is we want to finish up these stairs all right as you can see here we got this first one up so far and that's what is what it lo normally looks like. And then, as you can see down here, we're pulling this one up and there's rust. There's some bad rust and stuff there. Um, this plate, it looks like this corner part is mostly where the rust is at. I'm gonna definitely get the rest of these stairs up and then try to look at some of this rust that's on the sides. Let's get the stairs. <laughs> as what Marissa would say, cue the montage, cue the music, and let's get this bitch. asking and they're like, Cohen, there's screws. Just take the screws out. Thank you. I know that. I know there's screws in there. And I know if you just take the screws out, those things will come up. But the funny thing about it is, is the screws are so worn out and stripped, the Phillips won't catch on it at all. And I've tried. And I think these are also rusted to where it won't even come out at all. So just, just if you're thinking that and you're like, stop working so much harder on yourself and just unscrew it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, guys, so I got the mat. Do you see this mat that's like this? That's originally what was on the steps. There's like a metal piece underneath of this, of the rubber, which was why it's all, like all bent to shit. So it was a lot harder to get up than I thought it was. As you can see, we have some rust right here, a hole here, and it's on both sides. All right, y'all, so afterwards, uh, as you saw, I took the metal brush that we have here. I did it to the floors, so let's check the floors out real quick. The stairs look pretty good. There's no rust or anything on the stairs. Yeah, we'll just clean this, grind this stuff off here. Um, like I said, I'm not doing that today. It's going to be another day. Just really, like, clean this little corner square up. Probably redo all this caulking as well, too, because this is all fucking falling apart. Thanks for joining in with this weekend. Finished out the flooring, and then we took out that uh, air conditioning. And then what I need to do is finish cleaning up and head out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one.